The Avro Lancaster entered service in 1942. It could carry more bombs higher, faster, and further than anything that went before. And it's Guy's new workplace. You see, I'm not one for facing cameras at myself. This is me standing next to the Lancaster bomber. That surprisingly is a lot smaller than you would think. It's only, like, it's only the length of like two buses. But hang on, I'm gonna get in here. You get to that age, don't you, where you start making them involuntary groans when you get in and out. We're gonna get in the back. Rear gunner. That's the tractor. Don't take notice of the tractor. You know, when you get bloody up at the height these things flew, you'd be bloody minus 40 in the back of you. And look at that. It was in gap. Hey? Hey? Oh, but then they said it was probably the worst job of the Second World War, being dragged over Germany backwards. Right, we're going to go to the next place. Not very thick panelling, but well, that won't even stop a pellet gun coming through that, would it? Look, up in there, that's the bomb storage. So, look, we're having to go up this step here because we've got bombs below. You see, what we've got here, this is mid-upper gunner. Bit of a view. And then we're mantling up over here. This is a big wing spar. And usually that, you know, sort of below the fuselage, but because this plane was all about carrying as many bombs as possible, that meant having the main wing spare inside the plane. So that's what you have to climb over there. All right, what we got here? Radio operator goes here. Look at that, my busy fellow. Right, and then if we get lost, we've got the Astrodome. You see, we can get a look here. It sounds a bit funny when I'm in here now, don't it? And that's how we can navigate off the stairs. Let me see them lovely engines there, can't you? Right. Navigator's place. Flight engineer. These are all his knobs and buttons and what have you. And then we've got the main man in here. This is the pilot's seat. Right. Oh, you bugger, don't be touching them, do I? This is where the bomb aimer went. You see? And there'll be a gun in here as well. So it'd be the front gunner as well as the bomb aimer. There we go, telling the pilot left, left, right, right. Right, press the button, bomb's gone. Bomb's gone. Yeah, it's a hell of a plane. Like in 1942, this is like space age technology, like flown by lads that probably didn't have a car license, you know, like 20 year olds. <laughs> Get a grip of that, eh? My word. My word. It's quite a bit rusty, though.